Well, the housing crisis isn't just an issue for the, on the San Francisco ballot in Marin County. A proposed cap on rent is dividing that community. Kenny Choi looks at what's on the line for both sides. Freelance photographer Michael Sexton depends on the rental income from the duplex he owns. You're never guaranteed work. Uh, it comes and goes. There's nothing consistent. You don't necessarily have a consistent paycheck. Measure D in Larkspur would lower the existing state cap on annual increases to 5% plus consumer price index or 7%, whichever is lower. Sexton won't be impacted this time around since he's an owner-occupant in Fairfax, but believes this measure, if passed, will eventually lead to more local municipalities implementing tighter restrictions. Having the consistency of rental income helps stabilize um, my monthly payments and allows me to live in Marin. Philip Halquist has been renting his one bedroom unit in Larkspur for nine years. He says new corporate ownership and annual increases growing closer to the state maximum prompted him to fight back. I just got fed up. I just said, you know, this is intolerable. I have to do something about this. The paralegal and other tenants started showing up at city council meetings, demanding lower caps on rent hikes. You feel like that's pushing people out? Oh, I know it is. U.S. Census Bureau data shows more than one quarter of renters in Larkspur spend 50% or more of their income on housing and are considered severely cost burdened. It's, um, it's forced eviction in a sense because people feel like, well, oh, you know, I can't, you know, I can't afford another rent increase. I guess I better find another place to live. Kelly Snyder is an urban planning expert and professor at San Jose State. We want to open and, 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 you know, put the accelerator on building as many new units as possible. And rent control measures usually do the opposite. Snyder believes changing zoning laws and increasing state grants and tax credits to build subsidized housing have better targeted outcomes for those who need it, but also says those options require massive amounts of funding and tax dollars. Rent stabilization regulations can help. It is a legal way to help a community that has no other options. Hawkwist's anger isn't directed at mom and pop landlords, but rather corporations and private equity firms maximizing profit and squeezing the working class struggling to pay rent. It's the elderly and disabled and, you know, people that have been here for a long time and really can't go anywhere else because they're on a fixed income or, or whatever their circumstances might be. And you want to be here? I do. I love this place. Property owners like Sexton paying a mortgage make a similar argument. It helps, helps me be able to live in Marin. Uh, it helps me to be able to live in this house. It's a plea from both sides in the midst of a housing crisis extending far beyond the Bay Area. Well, there are several exemptions to these rent caps for certain buildings like single family homes. The measure requires a simple majority to pass. Again, CBS News Bay Area is your place to go for all the results from today's primary. We'll have complete coverage on KPIX PIX Plus and streaming on the KPIX.com and the free CBS News app. Well, thanks for streaming CBS News Bay Area. I'm Ryan Yamamoto. We'll be right back with your first alert forecast and a look at your top stories.